happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the Sanjin PRD7. This is an AM FM portable radio. In this video, I'm going to be doing an evening medium wave band scan with it. First, we'll go over features, second, I'll do a size comparison, and third, I'll start cruising the evening band. So here it is the PRD7, one of my favorite Sanjin units of all time. Uh, yeah, I really like this design. You can pick this up refurbished off Amazon for around 49 bucks. Brand new is going to run you around $63. And uh, if you want a different colored combo, which is the SG-106, same radio, which is gray and black buttons, you'll spend about $69. All links below. Just so you know, this is the refurbished one from Sanjin, and it's been working flawlessly for me. really enjoy this radio. Fantastic during the day, and we're going to see what it do, does in the evening. Um, I have reviewed this and done band scans in the past. It's been a couple of years. I figured we'll give it a go again. So let's look at features of the PRD7, or known now as the SG-106. Going to the left-hand side of the radio, we have a headphone jack, which is just FM mono, uh, both ears, not FM stereo, which is a surprise. I didn't expect to see that, but not bad. A lot of lows if you're into heavy uh, lows on listening on FM. DC input. 12 volts, half amp. They do include the AC adapter on this one because this radio does charge nickel metal hydride batteries. Nice. Go to the front of the radio. You can see it says Sanjin. It's the white plastic, which is really nice. Now they do have a refurbished black version as well. Um, but if you want a fingerprint magnet, go with black or gray. If you don't, stick with white. White Sanjin radio, if this high gloss is the way to go. <laughs> the speaker here is three inches. Um, you can tell mine's refurbished because that's probably a new speaker. Uh, usually most pictures you see the speaker is white, and here the speaker is black. Over here we have a dual display system going on. Uh, when the radio is on, the frequency will be here, and the band you're on, and the battery life. And over here this clock is always showing, which is fantastic, especially if you're logging stations, which you will with this radio. Um, as you can see, it is 1141 p.m., and that's Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA, for the sake of the band scan. Going over to buttons, we have the power button with a sleep function. As you can see, our frequency popped up when I turned it on, band we're on, and our battery life indicator. Turn that back off, and it says off. Wonderful. Uh, over here we have some buttons. So we'll start with the band button, and it says step underneath. Bands, self-explanatory. You tap this to go to FM, tap it to go to AM. There's no AM1, AM2, or FM1, or FM2. I like other radios that so you get more presets. This radio is very basic. It has five presets on AM and five presets on FM. That's all you get. That's all we used to get in our old car stereos too. But uh, that's what you get on here. And that's fine if you're just listening to locals. Underneath that is step function. If you press and hold this when the radio is off or while you're on the band, you can change the stepping of that band. Or while the radio is off, you can change it for both. So we'll go ahead and do while the radio is off. It shows the firmware if you hold it. Now it goes into a mode where you can change the clock from 12 hour to 24 hour, nice. You can change the FM stepping from 100 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz. And you can change the AM, of course, from 10 kilohertz to 9 kilohertz. So a great travel radio. And hit that to go back out of the menu, very simple. There's a red LED for charge status indication. So if you have nickel metal hydrides installed with the switch engaged and you plug it in, it will start charging your batteries for you. Dual alarms, wake to radio, wake to buzzer. You can have both these running at the same time. Of course, I showed you those five preset buttons. They're very simple to use. You find a station you like, press and hold till it beeps, and now that's your new station. Over here with time set scan function. Scan is pretty much like a browse feature. It doesn't auto scan and save because you only got five presets. <laughs> it's like a browse. Up here we got our tuning. Uh, this is nice. Uh, we have, they're kind of clicky. We have incremental tuning. We have seek tuning, and then we have uh, quick tune where you just press and hold and actually tune through the band until you let go. I like that. Some radios you'll hold this and then it'll just stop on a station, which is a bummer because you gotta press it again. This one, nope, just press it and you go right through the band holding that. So that's really nice. So yeah, that's the buttons. Simple, self-explanatory. I do like that. Now the volume control here is really smooth. I like how smooth and accurate it is. Uh, I believe it's analog. It sounds great. On top of the radio, see PRD7, the model number. We have our FM antenna, which is 
it's just phenomenal. A 27 inch. It's the same antenna they use on the big boys, like the D5, and the D15. Expect excellent FM reception with this radio. Going to the back, we have some frequency information right there. So your FM 87 to half to 108 and AM, and of course, 9K stepping. And then behind this compartment, we have rechargeable or alkaline switch, which I'll try to show you because this door is rather difficult to open. Bear with me. There we go. Hinge door so you don't lose it. Turn the radio on. Just go ahead and turn that down. So as you can see, you have switch the battery type, depending on what you're using. I'm using alkaline, so I'm in the alkaline mode. There's a little switch right there, a little micro switch, and then you just flip it up if you're running the, you know, like analoops loops or something. But I'm running standard alkaline. Six AA batteries, by the way. Quite a few. I really recommend running alkalines if you're going to use this radio as a portable. If you're going to run it on uh, AC power, just use the adapter and you know save yourself some batteries. So go ahead and click this back. It's tight fitting. There we go. On the bottom, we got two little molded feet, and that's it for features. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. We'll start cruising the band. Uh, first radio, we always bring out the C Cream products. I got a C Cream CC Pocket, always handy on the bench. Uh, that's an AM FM weather alert radio, give you an idea. It'd be cool if this had weather alert as well, but it does not. Uh, there are versions, of course, that do, like the D9W, which is a little smaller. I do like this one because I think it has better pulling power on the AM band. Uh, here we have the Skywave, Skywave 2 actually. This is a C Crane, AM FM, weather band, air, shortwave. Oh, there, it gives you a general idea how big the radios are. Cool. If you don't have those two radios, of course, I always have a deck of cards for standard size. There you go. You know who that is. That's Iron Man. He can spin it like no one can. He loves the Sanjin radios from Taiwan land. He is Iron Man. Dun, 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 dun. Buy a Sanjin radio today, man. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I always sing a little song, man. Gotta have some fun. All right, let's tune this radio. Let's turn it up. Start at 520. Uh, got a passive loop off to the side, off the table. I'll grab it if I need it. I'm not sure what we'll need tonight. Lately, every evening, I've been able to pick up Cuba on 530. This is Cuba here. I'm going to enhance it uh, with the Turk Advantage passive loop, and we're going to add some gain. Uh, this will really help. So let's go ahead and put it perpendicular to the top of the radio. Um, off camera, what I'm doing is I'm going to be adjusting this purple knob to match the same frequency as the radio. And what this passive loop does, of course, is sends its RF energy to proximity to the internal ferret antenna. So this doesn't need batteries. Fantastic device, especially for an AM listener. It works with all AM radios. So let's go ahead and turn this up. So there you go, that's 1,700 miles to the southeast, out into the Atlantic Ocean. Very cool, from Chicago to Cuba. Oh, they're talking. Something else too, that could be, let's see. Nope, not CHLO, cool. All right, let's keep going. That's fun. Say what? In the evening, I get a couple stations on 540. This first one here is Jackson, Wisconsin, WAUK. Low power, 400 watts, 70 miles to the north. Soft speaker here. I believe the CBK, Watrasa, Saskatchewan, which is 1,025 miles to the north, northeast. Get out. Okay, sometimes it comes in more clear than that. Okay, let's keep going. Doing to us to in 
550 uh, KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. As you can see, it's got a nice amber light. It only lights for a few seconds, which is all you need. Start feeling better every day with relief. Nice clear audio, no spurious tones on this radio. I love it. Uh, 560 WIND Chicago, the answer. I just feel better. Created by doctors. Possibly WTCM, Traverse City, Michigan, 215 miles to the east, 1100 watts at night. Sports stations, probably KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles, 5000 watts to the south southwest. I think uh, with these buttons so close to that scan, it's going to start browsing there. Okay, it's a little rough tonight. Uh, hopefully, it starts to brighten up a little bit. We do have some winter storm coming in tonight, so hopefully, that's not affecting it too much, but it might be uh, going out to the west. KCSP. Uh, 610, Kansas City, Missouri, 400 miles, 5,000 watts. Okay. And this would obviously slow down your financial progress there. Correct. Yeah. And you don't have any money to put into this investment. So here's 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's 52 miles to the north, 10,000 watts. Of course, you can point your radio to the north or south. Around 14,000. And then I have 10,000 in... Kind of the building blocks of my emergency fund, That's and then I have about 5,000 in my checking. And then uh, 30. Okay, barely could come in. It's fading coming in and out. That's CFCO 630, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Too bad, just a little rough. This is local uh, uh, BIN uh, station. That's WMFN Piatone, Illinois, 75 miles, 1600 watts at night. And sometimes I can pick up uh, WOI Ames, Iowa, in this direction. Okay, that's 650. That's WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles south, coming in like a local, uh, nice strong station. There'll be no sorrow there. Nice. You can barely make it out. Um, they're talking about Tom Brady here. This is WFAN, New York, New York. I got 670 bumping into it really hard, so I'm going to use this loop here. We're going to put an edge on and see if I can't help. Null 670. I think the antenna is right about here. So it's an experiment. Let's go perpendicular. Yeah, it's too close to 670, but it's there. 
bunch of not tools from dancing Santa. this is the offending station 670 the score wcr chicago home of the cubs horsepower chain saw fitted with a full chisel chain to cut down your own tree and we have wood chippers come january one of the strongest stations in my area Should be CKGM Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles northeast. I think he played unbelievable. The film is going to be 700 WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles to the east. One big run he had, he really should have stayed in bounds. He stopped the clock on that big one. That was that just. There's a classic WOR, New York, New York, 750 miles to the northeast, again, straight over the Great Lakes. You can typically pick up most New York stations. Got right in front of the stage there, and uh, I talked to him afterwards. He said, wow. I said that. Your 720 WGN, I think this is a Raleigh James show. And uh, put on a great show, and he's a friendly guy. I had a, an old original J and the Americans album, and uh, a friend of mine said, "Hey, can you you think you'd get that signed?" And I took it up to him on the side. He comes out and talks to people and uh, signs mm-hmm. stuff, and he has merchandise. And he, yeah, he was awesome. He just he, yeah, add a hall effect to the it was a great show, so, or a little bit of reverb or something. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens this February. They just announced the lineup. They got some good things happening up there. So, all right. Anyway. I haven't called you in a while. All right. 7.30. Okay, a hint of CKDM. We'll bring in the loop just to see if we can't improve it. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. That's as good as I'm going to get it. It's 820 miles. I don't know if I mentioned that. Nice. That's the country music. And then going over here. On a rare occasion, I could pick up uh, CKAC, which is uh, Montreal, Quebec. Music there on 740 is Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, which is 460 miles to the northeast. Coming in good. Every paycheck is a gift to Dave 2037, so he can spend it on things like anti-gravity boots or a hologram Doberman, something cool like that. I think Dave Here's WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles to the southeast. I guess I was thinking Steve 2037 would just fend for himself. Well, all right, but don't expect to be borrowing my anti-gravity boots. You want to have money? Commercial. Like, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Detroit's coming in kind of weak tonight, WGR. Usually this one's like a strong one. Uh, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles to the east. WJR. Please give me a call back tomorrow. I have never said that that Israel should negotiate. So here's the ABC coming in really nice. This is uh, New York, New York again. Beautiful. And if they're innocent people that have gone with them, so be it. You are completely mischaracterizing my entire... Chances of snow at times and a high near 40. There we go, 780. News that matters and breaking news at any time. This is Chicago's News Traffic and Weather Station. News Radio 1059 WBBM. There you go. 105 is when radio was. In the meantime, here it's old time radio between 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Central uh, Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Monday through Friday. Yep, it's always nice. And if you notice, it's preset three. Lawyers call for police transparency. So there's preset one. There's preset three. Police in Alexandria, Virginia nice. are investigating a home explosion. Okay, let's keep going. Schenectady, 
WGYFM Albany. The Capital Region's breaking news, traffic, and weather station. Listen anywhere on iHeartRadio. Okay, so we just caught the uh, call letters top top of the hour. WGY this is 810, Albany, New York, 740 miles. Fort Worth, Dallas. And 99.5 HD2 KPLX FM, Fort Worth, Dallas. Streaming live on our free mobile app. A cumulus Media Station. Trending now. The man accused of shooting. So here's WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, as you heard. It's a Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, this is 810 miles to the southwest. Seven news desk. ClassicChevrolet.com. WBAP, first traffic and weather. On the one. Nice. Got the call letters. About releasing one of the parties. That is, uh, the owner of 8.30 here is WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles to the west. Bullets pierced the air around them. This was supposed to be an evacuation route. So this is WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles to the south, southeast. Staging in the south. Um, usually have ground zero, and then now they're going to have coast to coast from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Residential neighborhood in Arlington. And, and I'm up, and I'm usually listening to the whole thing. Suburb was rocked by an explosion. As long as it's good. So we're getting a little bit. Not super strong, but it's KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Now, some nights it's super clear. Um, just tonight, I think with the snow coming in from the west. Yeah. But you can hear them. You can hear them there. If you had headphones on, you could really pick it up. You said KOA. C'est est applaudi par des groupes de défense de CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. He's coming nice and clear. Another big tower out there in the south. Uh, I can pick up pretty easily on 880 and uh, 870, excuse me. WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. South. All right. Do you suffer from symptomatic varicose veins? We got commercials already on 880. This is a WCBS New York, New York. I have to go a little quicker now. Where to get Mike's amazing offer on the queen size my pillow for only 19.98 or call it. So 890s to be LS Chicago. Free and use promo code don't you so I'm going to go quicker. So I'm just going to pretty much go up the band. Charles and John Wesley wrote this one. This is Detroit. WWJ. The version we know today. 270 miles. Okay, so we have Canadian station, CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 675 miles. And that is your world this hour. For CBC News, I'm Neil Harlan. Stay, stay informed. <laughs> Empty backfield. Three right, two left. 1,000 WMVP Chicago. Sports station, as you can tell. Trevor fell to the ground. Sometimes I can pick up uh, Toronto here. There's a lot of stations here. There's Toronto, there's New York. They kind of override each other. Monday, less than a mile off the western end of... 
So here's 1020 KDKA Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles to the east. Boarding with a man who was not injured. The woman suffered serious injuries and despite... Air Force says they're working to recover and identify the five newly located remains. So here's WBZ Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles, coming in nice and clear. ...in a number of crashes in the past. A longtime family farm in Westwood is hoping it can reach an agreement with the... Yeah, that storm's definitely affecting uh, out west here because this usually comes nice and clear, WHO. Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Today, cool temperatures as well, although pretty average for this time of the year. Overnight lows tonight will be at 27. Yeah, we'll keep going. Okay, WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin, which is kind of a local. Coast to Coast is coming on. <laughs> KYW 1060, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. It's one of the woman's granddaughters. KYW is Nigel Thompson with more on this messy situation. 35 years Yeah, okay, two stations. Got a guy talking some music. I think the music is uh, from Arkansas, which is uh, K A A Y Little Rock, and it's 570 miles to the south. Coast AM later tonight. Alternative realities. Alternative realities. All right, in the radio spectrum. <laughs> I have a little fun here. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Yeah, I can't hover on coast to coast because they copyright that stuff. Yeah, I and mean, they pick it up on YouTube and they censor it because they have their own little dealio where you have to subscribe if you want to listen to past shows. Control of the now devastated North. A sizable rally in the U.S. Okay. We're going to hear a lot of that. The faker. I don't know if I gave you information on 1100. 1100 was WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Now we're uh, pointed towards KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles south, southwest a little bit. Wine in New York and auctions may have to have this retailer deal with them. Eleven thirty. We don't get too often. Uh, Bloomberg Radio, WBBR, New York, New York. Using social media, parents are calling their kids during classes. Eleven forty uh, again, coast to coast. WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, six hundred sixty-five miles. Approach this by. Of course, we're going to be hustling now to finish this up, which is fine. I'm hitting all the big stations. Again, coast to coast on WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. So yeah, coast to coast pretty much takes over the entire AM band at night. Which is fine. To use the school's Wi-Fi. And there it is again, WPHD, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles northeast. Okay, and now we're just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to press and hold, and I'm going to zoom all the way up to 1500. It's just nice I can do this. This is part of the, what they call the graveyard band, a lot of low power stations vying for attention. So we're going to bypass most of them and press and hold. So I press and hold, and I can just zip up to where I want to stop, which is right about here. Coast to coast into the LAC, Nashville, Tennessee, coming in kind of weak. Are you believing? Are you telling people to pump the brakes a little bit? Where exactly? So 1530 WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio. 300 miles. How are you feeling after this Bengals win? Let's go to Delhi where Josh is standing by. Josh, you're on the post game show. What's up? What's going on, Austin? 
Sitting here doing a talk show. Eh, uh, you know. Kirsten Cinema, see the writing on the wall. Um, can she stay in Arizona? Will the uh, constituents? Here we are, KXEL, Waterloo, yeah. Iowa, 210 miles to the west. It, it's what's interesting is that I noticed. Yeah, let's go to 1610. We're almost done. Okay, 1610 is CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. We got some mixing of KOZN, Bellevue, Nebraska, 390 miles, 1,000 watts, and then we got our traffic advisory radio out of Lake County, Illinois. Uh, real local, small water ray going on. Nice. Got music on the mighty KCJJ, Iowa City, Iowa. 175 miles, 1,000 watts. It's nice to get music on the AM band. I want a classical music station. I got like a heavy metal station. I got, you know, your oldies, moldy oldies. I got all kinds except that. I got country music too, which is cool. Let's keep going. We're almost done. Hispanic music, it sounds like, or ethnic music. Um, I don't think it's WPTX. I don't think so. Do something else. I always felt like my best protection was getting rid of the ball. Even in the course of my day. Nice clear signal on top of the band, 1700, which is KBGG out of Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles to the west. Oh my goodness. I'm a genius. Fantastic radio. There you are, the PRD7. Hope you enjoyed this evening meeting with Bandscan and a revisit. It's been about a couple years. I'm pretty happy to show this off. Um, if you want to pick one up, yeah, pick up a refurbished one. Uh, they have a good one-year warranty, I think, still. or 90, No, 90 days, excuse me. So you get a 90-day warranty from Sanjin. Links below. Check them out if you guys want to support the channel. If you like Sanjin uh, reviews, products, and you want to see more on my channel, hit subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of these. Uh, videos and of course three comment below what you think about the PRD7, the SG106. Is it one you think you'd pick up uh, for the money? I think it's still cool. It's an older design but uh, it does a great job uh, for what it does. Very simplistic and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying tuning this radio and using it. So there you are. Uh, glad you were here for the video. All right thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next video.